Ladies and gentlemen, isn't Windows Media Video a very nice format? You can use it when you own a Windows system. Um, it's decent and you don't have to pay a big license to use it, which is nice. Uh, so basically, it has some limitations and if you are using PowerDirector as I am, then you will have noticed that you cannot make your own profiles and you can't really export it to whatever format you want. It's kind of preset. Well, that's a truth with modification because you can indeed make your own profiles and um, this video is a proof of it. I have made 1440 60p profiles. Uh, as you can see in this video should be uploaded in Windows Media Video and that same format because I always use a Windows Media Video when possible. In any case, if you want to make your own profiles, what you need to do is you need to go to this PC, local disk C, program file, cyberlink, whatever version of power director you're using, I'm a little behind, uh, language, language, yes, here you can see on language, you have to choose the, langu the language you're using power director in. I happen to use it in English. So this is the English kind of page here. Fantastic. And if you go into profiles, here you have all the profiles. And these profiles can actually be edited. And uh, if you look, uh, uh, we basically open them here. You can download these profiles in the description if you also want to export in 60p. Uh, so I basically made Windows Full HD 60p, the Windows Media Video 9, but 1440 30p and then the same but uh, 60p so 1440 60p which is basically the highest uh, um, <laughs> my screen slash youtube can output <clears throat> which is you know what i want to record in or what i want to uh, be able to put on youtube uh, and here we have these like three different profiles we can select this uh, full hd 60p and I have made some modifications here. I've increased the uh, bitrate. Um, and if you want to do like your own profile, what you basically need to do, uh, you can see this code here, and then it's a lot of text. Don't mess with the audio, or I didn't at least. Uh, then we have the bitrate here. You need to set the bitrate to 15. And then we have the DW bitrate. I set this to the same as this one because they are all the same on the other profile. And I basically analyzed the different profiles to make my conclusions here. Um, and uh, here you can see, uh, of course, if we scroll down a little bit uh, more, you can see width and height. This this here, the width and height, width and height. These need to be changed to something else. So for the 1440p, I've changed these values. Uh, and then you look up a little bit. Here we have the average time per frame. Uh, this was uh, 300,000 something. Uh, so I changed it to the value that corresponds with uh, <clears throat> 60p. Or actually it's a 59.9. Uh, format, but that's basically um, what Windows Media Video 9 seems to prefer. Um, you can look in the description of this video and you find some more like data on what uh, average time per frame, what value it needs to be to reach different frame rates. Uh, and then you just save them. <clears throat> I saved them on my desktop because you can save them in here. Uh, when you have made your profiles, you need to basically take them and drag them in here. So I've already done that. And just to prove that uh, it's possible, you can see here, we have a video here and we can export it. Here you see my Gmodism HD 1440, 60 and 30. We also have the um, Gmodism Full HD. So I named them something else so it's easier to find them for me. Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, note that this is for the, I made my profile for the English language. If you use your software in another language, you'll need to go in the corresponding map of that language to make these profiles. And I think the profiles are coded inside of them what language they are because it is a line of code. It says uh, 
language profile in them. Anyways, uh, here if you look at the details, this is uh, 60 hertz basically, 60 F, uh, 60p uh, and 1440. This below is uh, full HD but 60p and then the one below, so yeah, you can see it's uh, full HD. Um, or it's 1440 I mean uh, and 30p, so yeah. Uh, and I did set the 1440p to a, a bitrate of 20, I thought it would be enough, but you can increase that if you really need it. Will be a little bit heavy to export the files though. But anyways, um, if you don't want to do anything yourself, you can just download my pre-made profiles and you can put them into the folder of the English language pack and profiles. Uh, now I'm a little behind on the newer versions of PowerDirector, but I think the newer ones should be kind of the same. Um, if it's not, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I might finally update it sometime, but well, in any case, I hope you did enjoy this little video and uh, may it be very helpful. Windows Media Video is quite a nice format. So, uh, well, see you around. This is Jim Reza from Total Nerd Channel, signing out.